high-tech fabrics could soon allow you to charge your devices on the go simply by standing outside on a sunny, breezy day. Researchers have developed a hybrid power textile that generates electricity from both sunshine and motion, using a combination of solar cells and triple electric nanogenerators. So far, a segment roughly the size of a sheet of office paper can create significant power just from being held out a car window, and in the future, they say this technology could be integrated into tents, curtains, and even garments. The researchers from Georgia Institute of Technology say this method could one day allow clothing to harvest energy to power smartphones and GPS. Their current design is just 320 micrometers thick, and is woven together with strands of wool. This hybrid power textile presents a novel solution to charging devices in the field from something as simple as the wind blowing on a sunny day, said Zhang Lin Wang a region's professor in the Georgia Tech School of Material Science and Engineering. To create the material, the researchers constructed solar cells from lightweight polymer fibers and wove these in with fiber-based triple electric nanogenerators. These can generate electrical power from mechanical motion, including rotation, sliding, and vibration. The researchers stitched their materials together using a commercial textile machine to create a thin fabric that can use both sunlight and the movement generated by wind. The fabric is highly flexible, breathable, lightweight and adaptable to a range of uses, Wang says. The backbone of the textile is made of commonly used polymer materials that are inexpensive to make and environmentally friendly. The electrodes are also made through a low-cost process which makes it possible to use large-scale manufacturing. According to the team, just a 4 by 5 centimeter piece of the fabric can charge a 2 mF commercial capacitor up to 2 volts in just one minute of sunlight and movement. And, on a cloudy day, the fabric was able to generate significant power when blowing in the wind on a cloudy day. That indicates it has a decent capability of working even in a harsh environment, Wang said. So far, tests have shown the fabric will survive repeated and rigorous use, and the team is working to see just how durable it really is over longer periods of time. In the future, they plan to optimize its capabilities for industrial uses.